Pastor Steve here, and I'm so glad you've joined me for today's devotion. Whether you're listening to the podcast or watching the video, thank you so much. We are in Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8. And the part of this chapter that really spoke to my heart and my mind this time is um, Jesus' conversation with his disciples while they were in the boat. Um, You'll remember at the beginning of chapter 8, he had multiplied bread and fish and fed 4,000, similar to how he had done the same earlier and fed 5,000. And he and his disciples are getting in a boat to go across the sea. And um, as they're getting into the boat, the Pharisees come up to Jesus and they have a conversation and they're arguing with Jesus and so on. Then they get in the boat to go across the water and the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread. So during their journey, there's nothing to eat and they're all worried about this and that's where their minds are. And Jesus is trying to teach them. And in his teaching, he said to them in verse 15, watch out, okay, watch out, beware. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. He was talking about the groups he'd had the confrontation with just before God, he got into the boat. And he said, hey, guys, be careful. He, he wasn't talking about literal bread. Now, that's what they were thinking about. He was talking about when he talked about the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of the of the of Herod of the Herodians. He was talking about their teaching, because you know yeast leaven causes bread to rise, and he's saying what people teach and what you allow into you can also rise and take over. So watch out, beware, be careful that you don't allow the teaching of the Pharisees and the teaching of, uh, of not King Herod, but the Herodians, uh, to infiltrate you and corrupt you. Now, the Pharisees were a religious group who were legalist. They were very legalistic. Um, the, um, the Herodians were a political group. And they didn't often agree. But they would get together to fight a common enemy. And their enemy in the Gospels was Jesus. We have to always be careful when the religious and the political get together because sometimes it's an unholy alliance. Be careful. And so Jesus is warning them, be careful because that teaching can corrupt you. But their focus is on the physical bread because, as I mentioned, as you read, they had forgotten to bring any bread and they were worried about it. And Jesus said to them um, at the end of verse 18, do you not remember? Do you not remember? I mean, just a little while earlier before they had gotten in the boat and forgot the bread, just a little while before that, he had multiplied bread and fed 4,000. And he said, guys, don't you remember anything? Why are you so worried? If I could take a few loaves and feed thousands, I can take care of you. So he transitioned from what he was trying to teach them to where their minds were to teach them. And there's a couple of lessons, I think, for me that speak to me through this chapter. One is that our past experiences with the Lord are supposed to teach us. Our past experiences with the Lord are supposed to increase our faith. For that to happen, we have to remember them and meditate on them. It is amazing how many times something happens and we, we get all frustrated, we lose faith, we lose heart, we lose hope because we've forgotten what God did a month ago, a week ago, a year ago, a decade ago. It's like we're, we're such slaves of the present moment, we forget all God's taught us in the past, all of his faithfulness in the past. And the other thing, and this, I know this is a constant sermon of mine, teaching of mine in recent years. But I think it's relevant and it's absolutely critical to our spiritual well-being as disciples of Jesus. Is that we be discipled by the word of God more than 
we are discipled by legalistic, narrow-minded people and more than we are discipled by people who have political agendas. That we need to be discipled by the Word of God. And then we can apply it to everything else. But if you're listening to the same old narrow-minded group all the time or you're listening to the same political group and you're listening to those more than you are in God's Word, you have a problem, my brother, my sister, because you need to listen to God and His Word. You need to read His Word more than you listen to any group. And that will strengthen your faith and make you more Christ-like. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.